Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the gold signals for the NAS boys. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. First, I want to speak to you about Fastball, which is a news platform that I recently started using. Fastball offers you economic calendar where you get up to date news that is about to come out and the ones that are already taking place as well. Once you're done reading, once you're done getting the news update, you can go to the analysis page where you, the in-house analysts basically compile the data into a report for you. They also have 24-7 news updates that make sure that you don't miss out on anything where you get updated minute over minute over minute over minute, all depending on what's coming out. Look, UK 10-year Dale Hills is up 5.1 basis points to 0.45. They also have uh, AI signals that comes with an open TPN and SL. Unlike some traders that don't not give you an SL, all of these signals comes with an SL. And they also have an app that you can download to make sure everything gets sent to you via a notification. I will pin a link in the comment section below. Be free to check them out. Fastball is the name and it will be pinned to the description box below. Now, let's go over to the NAS Boys. Now, the NAS Boys is no stranger to the trading community. Now, I have joined NAS Boys a couple of years back when they were still new, and the results back then wasn't as good as I thought, but that was back then. After looking at some of the signals that they are sending now, I must say it is very, very good, okay? Um, very good here and there, okay? Don't get me wrong. Um, but I was going to sign up to their gold signal. Someone reached out to me and said that they have actually opened up their signal group, their gold signal group for January um, since December till the end of January. So I thought to myself, you know what, I might as well get the signals from there because it's the same signals that they sent in the VIP that was sent here as well. So we're going to do the review, but I'm only going to do up until the 11th. And the reason why I say so these guys they do send a lot of signals so we're gonna do up until the 11th and then further we'll scroll through it and we'll just basically read the feedback that they provide on the signals that they send the first signal was sent was a sell on the 2nd of january which was sent at 12 minutes past 10. now we can see over here you can see what i was referring to is that you know trade after trade so this trade was sent at 10 10 12 am i correct there we go 10 12 the next one I sent at 12, 12, 18. So that one actually uh, got taken out at break even. This was a break even trade. This one hit TP. But here you can see they say sell gold over there. That was uh, 12, 28, which I've basically marked there, 12, 30. That was sent with uh, stop loss. Uh, sorry. Um, so I've used the TP3 at 2062. But for me, this, this, they, they have the potential right in some cases they basically they do just um how can i say like they don't sometimes trust their their setups because sometimes it will play out beautifully but then they would have closed it earlier you see so yeah but overall still very very good results the only thing i would say is that tp1 tp2 and tp3 that sometimes skews out the risk because when you calculate your risk you would let's assume that you take your stop loss and you put it in a baby pips uh, you know calculator and it tells you you need to risk 0.01 the question is do you go 0.01 for tp1 tp2 or tp3 because if you go out for tp1 and the stop loss hits and the stop loss um and the tp the previous tp1 was only a 0.5 percent and the stop loss is a one percent that will put you in a negative so just make sure that you guys get that right as well so here we go and then that was the cell sorry that was the first one this one so here we go so this is the one that we were referring to over here and we can see a beautiful in the profits 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 um and then mr tp3 by 50 pips close up we made enough for today so that's basically the signal that you see over there and that sent that was sent um at 1653 which i would assume was yep right there so that's where i moved it right so that was a beautiful trade then there was january the third there was a buy which was this one over here but again this was also just a small small move to the upside let me just see here january the second um at 9 39 which was rush no january the second 
Finley, the second. Uh, okay, sorry, January the third. My bad. It's still it's still early. So we're gonna go to January the third, and that was sent at nine thirty nine, which was this one over here. So the price went up into some profits. They did ask them to readjust the stop loss, move it up a little bit, which you can see over here. Minus three hundred pips. Let's close gold. Now we'll send another empty. So the trade was basically closed when it was in a minus three hundred pips drawdown um there as well which is why i moved it uh to accommodate that candle there then there was another sell at half plus five which was yeah there we go so we can see here market came in they sold it the reason why they sold it's so obviously a clear break of uh, support came back tested it as resistance they were expecting this market to continue lower now that didn't work out then there was another sell that was sent and I would assume this cell was sent. I'm not sure what time frame they were looking at, but I guess that would have been more ideal. A buy there maybe or a sell there. Um, because that's the best prices to, to buy and sell at the end of the day, right? Support and resistance will always just be for me what it is. So then we had a sell um, which was sent at 17.39. We think it was this one, not that one there. Okay, that didn't work out too well for the NAS boys. They use to 200 pips be patient so that didn't work out which was there then there was another sell there stop loss hit which was this one here then there was a buy limit i believe buy limit there we go that never triggered it was there um let's see what's happening here Corp, maybe i don't know i, I actually don't look at 15 minute time frames Okay, but I'm still valid. Then there was a sell on the 4th at half plus 8. So, a sell at on the 4th. Sell on the 4th at half. Uh, here we yeah, My eyes in my eye. Yeah. That also was a break-even trade. You'll see here. Please put a sell at entry. It takes us out. We will get... If it takes us out, which it did, then there was a buy. And th this is what I'm talking about, right? Well, when I say that, it is a lot of trades. There, one was sent, uh, and then at opposite was sent. Half plus three was sent. There, that trade didn't really move. Gold is up 100 pips. Let's, leave for clear. Let's wait for clear confirmation, then we take another sell. Okay, so he told them to close it there, where it would basically moved up. He said they need to close it the next one was also the same you can see there 1535 then again 10 past 400 pips then he says gold wants to keep falling it's back at entry close it then that was closed at break even so that's how it goes right like they are just but that's one thing i have to admire them for is the fact that they are so they are just on top of it you know they will keep you up to date with the signals and that is one thing I like, is to see people engaging. Why? Because it tells you that they are actually sitting at the charts and they're looking at it. Not like these guys. They'll send a signal, get in their car, take a couple of photos. These guys, they're always looking at the charts. Woo, woo, do this, do that, do that, do this, do that, do that. The NAS boys is now the gold boys. January the 4th quarter past 5, here we go, that was sent right there, that TP1 had hit, which is why I moved it there, I'm calling it a day guys, there, missed TP1 by 100 pips, so TP1 was at 20.48, and I've set it basically there, 20.48.125, probably my mistake, um, now that I'm looking at it, uh, just 17.15, let me just make sure, yeah, let's use this one, uh, boo -boo -boo. there we go, yeah, okay, so the TP1 did miss the first time, we had some drawdown, then it came back and it actually hit there, but again, there wasn't any updates that was sent, right, missed TP1, it's still up 200 pips, then he says I'm calling it a day, right, Next up was a, on the January the 5th, there was a sell on gold, which was, yeah, that one there, January the 5th, that was sent at 22.10, 
2210 yeah it was sent right around there so this trade boom liquor nice profits over there please put sl at entry guys if it takes out any further 50 pips away from tp1 option to take tp1 manually 600 pips tp1 it close gold sells up 400 pips now again again i say that these guys they are so hands-on to these signals like they're able to to pivot very quickly if they see something is not right then they will just say hey close 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 you see quick quick like they're able to adjust to the market structure very quickly do i agree with almost 60 signals for the month i don't and i'll tell you why i say so i will always refer to people that likes to work right and sometimes people who works they don't get to see all of these signals and they might only get the, the wrong ones right but other than that nah the nas boys i just don't know how their nasdaq signals are this was a beautiful trade yeah buy gold half past three on the dot there you can see actually there uh no there there we go that trade rallied beautifully um Okay, missed TP1, I did TP1, seen another entry, and then that was basically the weekend. There you can see that trade played out very beautiful. Okay, here we go. Here, here is it one, two, three, four, five signals. I think we, this is where you send five signals in one day. Um, yeah, the first one was a buy at 20.30 there. We had a move, slight move to the upside, right? Slight move up, market came down. Then... Help us 9 at 20 past 10. There was a sell. That sell didn't do too well as well. Close gold. That was the buy. They had to close gold. Put SL at 2031. It's a 100 pip stop loss. If gold takes us out, there will be a cat's another entry to throughout the day. Right? 300 pips. Um, then there was another sell on gold. That went good. The market went down. Uh, my cup. Where is this? 10, 20 past 10 was there. Then 15 minutes past 12. Yeah, I remember. 12.49, which is there. So that's supposed to be there. Um, any case, 1,000 pips. At NY open, must TP2 by 200 pips, sitting at 600 pips. Option to take more profits and put SL at entry at NY open. Send another entry. This one takes us out at entry. Close the cells, guys. Help plus one, which is somewhere around yeah, there. You can see I moved it to close it. Um, the next was a buy. 100. Uh, it was said to close out early. 150 pips stop loss. Um, it was closed early. Then there was another buy. That buy was sent at 1422, which you can see over here. And here we can see this trade actually be you'll see now went up, came down, take them out. Um they put a solid entry, 500 pips, and then they put a solid entry, and then that was at three. You can see uh, at three, came back after that and did that break even. January the 9th was sent at just after 10, 20 past 10, which was a year. I'm not going to do that. It was sent at this level here. Um, okay, cool. So this was sent at 20 past 10. And here we can see this trade actually moved, moved, pulled back in another signal, in another signal, in another signal, in another signal. Um, and that is why I said I am just going to do it till here. The group is free. It is open for now, but they don't send any more signals. You guys are more than happy to go and check them out because I know people ask me to do review their signals. But this is like this is a lot, right? If I have to do this whole January, I'm going to sit here and probably fall asleep. So, yeah, where are we now? January the 9th there at quarter past 10 let me go back buy miss tp1 by 20 pips put a solid entry that became a break-even trade 
then there was a cell that cell is located right there in the middle remember this is 15 minute time frames right tuesday the 9th and half past five uh cell tuesday about uh, 17.41 tp1 option to take more profits hold sl at entry and then they said close at 1850 uh which i did actually put there which was allocated right around there that's it would have been yeah okay next up was a buy at 1852 which is this one here this trade was just bad into drawdown to the downside right they did say close with minus two two dollar sorry 200 pips in profit uh we'll smash it again tomorrow made 1000 plus pips for the day good morning sell there you can see it. sl hit right it's that one then there was another sell also out then there was another sell and that's the last trade that i've marked on here now why is it the last trade that i marked on here because you will see now then there was a buy that didn't go too well then you'll go through this group and you will see there is signals 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 that is why it took me already three hours to just do you know up to three hours well be well, close to three hours to just plot these first few days of the month because there's a lot happening each day uh, I, I was gonna sit here until next year but like i said the group is free it was of the premium signals for gold you're more than happy to go and check them out that is my thoughts i think they're very good in terms of their their the approach to the market and the way they'll keep people up to date they use a stop loss the 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 results are there and that is about it guys you make your own conclusions thank you for your time and as always cheers for yeah